Welcome back. Come on, making a house a home. That's really what the Furniture Bank is all about. It helps people going through tough times to pick up furnishings and those everyday items we all need. Here's Susan Hay with tonight's Making a Difference. I'm, I'm liking this one. Okay. This one's got, it's got good bones. Yeah. Classic. The Furniture Bank is a nonprofit, and what we do is we take in furniture donations and we give it to people who are new to Canada, women and children coming out of abusive situations, and the formerly homeless. Furniture Bank works with 64 shelters and agencies, including Toronto's Streets to Homes program. In fact, Streets to Homes clients represent almost 26% of their client base. What happened in your life that led you to the Furniture Bank? Oh, well, I was laid off from my company from making 52 a year to maybe about 1600 a month, if at best. You know, we're all only three paychecks away from being on the street. Since 1998, Furniture Bank has helped 50,000 people, 16,000 being women and children. I wish I could say it wasn't needed at all, uh, but unfortunately there's a huge need and it's a growing need. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you for calling Furniture Bank. This is Tammy speaking. How may I help you? Last August, the organization moved into this permanent space, set up like an actual showroom, allowing clients to enjoy their shopping experience, guided by one of the Furniture Bank's many volunteers. I was one of the clients of the Furniture Bank, and uh, what I've seen in the Furniture Bank helped me out, so I came out to help other people to get uh, start their life. By transferring gently used furniture and household goods donated by individuals and corporations to people in need, Furniture Bank continues to turn an empty space into a home. I, I, I feel very optimistic that, you know, 2013 is going to be on the up and up. Yes. And I'm just a little bit concerned that we might be short on beds. Uh, we came here almost 25 years ago from the Soviet Union. The government at the time had given us furniture and it made all the difference. It actually has nothing to do with the furniture itself. We give people confidence and, and a little bit of a boost. That would be perfect. Okay. Wow. So that. tell me, what do they need? They are in desperate needs right now of beds. They see about 20 to 25 clients a day and they're in need of everything to make a house a home financial donations as well. Currently, there's 600 volunteers to help clients select furniture. However, they're always looking for more. Now, when you donate furniture or household items, a tax receipt will be issued for the value of goods. Keep in mind, there is a charge to pick up furniture. Later this year, the Furniture Bank will be opening a second location. And if you would like to find out how to donate tonight, please go to GlobalToronto.com and follow the links to Making a Difference. Uh, this is the second time I do a story on them because I'm still getting people People saying from three years ago, tell me about T that furniture bank. Isn't that great? Thank you, Susan. You're welcome.